I mean, like, you know, Leon Musk, you know, I mean, he, he, he appears to be eccentric, you know? Certainly. You know? And what do you think of what he's doing? I, I mean, he's, <laughs> well, I, I don't know how much of it is, is, is rhubarb, as they say, um, but you, the, 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 you know, you've got to admire the guy. And what really pleased me was, that, and a little light bulb went on in my brain when I was watching, I think that last week there was a documentary on him, and they showed him as quite a young man taking delivery of a McLaren F1. Yes. And I thought, hey, that's, that's a bit special, you know, the fact that he's worked that out, you know, yeah. the fact that he's, he's figured out that someone in the UK, Gordon Murray, has gone right down to the extreme of car design. And, and that, to me, for him to realise that and buy one, I mean, they were not cheap. No. And to actually buy one and be obviously enthusiastic about buying it, I mean, that suddenly I thought that this guy, you know. And it, drove it. Actually, he crashed it. He well, or another tech yeah, well, that he was with. That, uh, so they, were, they that, he uh, believed in it, definitely. The fact that he could figure it out. Yeah. You know, he, he, all the cars in the world, and he was aware of this one thing made by a very small, well, McLaren at the time was not, you know, huge. Uh, but well, their car division was tiny. But if you look into the if you look into the McLaren F1, it, it's still regarded by most enthusiasts as 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 a as a pinnacle. Yeah. You can keep on improving and improving and improving as as he is doing, but at that point in time, it was awesome, and and and, and Musk spotted it, you know, in, in America, and they brought one over. You know, yeah. I, I thought that was really impressive, and the idea of Rolls Royce are talking about bringing out their first electric car, fully electric, by the end of this year. I think a lot of people won't realize that Charles Stuart Rolls had an actual PowerPoint outside his house in London in 1908 for people to publicly, it must have been the first public yeah. electric charger yeah. in London, yeah. Yeah. that the idea that with an electric self-driving Rolls-Royce, it almost comes full circle to having a chauffeur and a coach-built car. I have to say, I mean, there's a lot of enthusiasts are very leery about electric cars, but in the case of a Rolls-Royce, I have to say, it, it just seems to, be the, it seems to be the right thing to do. Because at the moment, uh, you know, the crew cars, which, which, which you've got outside, I mean, they, Took tremendous efforts to tame a V8, a very powerful engine, you know, noise, um, all the things you associate with internal combustion engines, a uh, massive effort to try to push it away. You just want to hear the clock, you know? <laughs> it's, yeah. it's an amazing thing to say, isn't it? To me, they want it as silent and as powerful as possible. And if you'd like, the two, the, the two were, I mean, not in opposition, but I mean, electric does appear to be a Rolls-Royce type thing to do. Yes.